All right. Well, we'll start with um. We did Spoopy Boardwalk, so we'll do Sputnik, and then I'll look for the other ones. Oh, what is this? Oh gosh, what a mess! This is a, a world map maze. level. No porn. That's what the message says. No porn. Alright, where's the pen? Sputnik gets a rating of no. And that happening. I hit a block and I turned into Vine Ouija. And then that happens. So that's as far as I've seen so far. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is not, I don't think, specifically for the Vine Sauce contest, but there are some custom Vine Sauce things in it, which is kind of cool. So I guess I can't complain too much. So it's a remake of Super Mario Land. Oh god, is it sponge now? Do I have a sponge mustache when I hit- have fire flower? Whoa, what the hell is going on? Oh, okay, so we're going through the different worlds. It's, it's a preview of the full thing, I guess. Oh, this is this world. The Tiki world. Oh, so this is a cool project to remake Super Mario Land. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, China. <laughs> yep, this was the last world in Super Mario Land. I'm sorry, last land. Considering this wasn't made specifically for the contest. Like, it, it was modified for the contest. Um, I will subtract a few points from my score, just because it's not specifically, like, other people spent three weeks working on a map specifically for this contest. This one feels like it was, it was made before that, and it's, it's really good. It's one of the best, but I have to subtract a few points, um, for that reason. We're done, right? There are only four worlds in Super Mario Land. Mario defeated the alien Tatanga in his UFO and rescued Daisy, so we're done, aren't we? Mr. Tatanga, as general of planet Sebes, and your new partner, may I say it is an honor working with you, and in no way are we lazy excuse to Metroid assets, to use Metroid assets. Your men did absolutely nothing to this Vinny guy. You should have trained them to do more than walk around in circles. Eh, yeah, whatever. How's the full game coming along? It is almost complete, but you have to wait a week or more. A week or more? Don't worry, we have all the necessary assets. Kazuma-kun. Oh god, is that alpaca? <laughs> you can find the vine sauce sprites and they're coming out in a week or more. It's still gonna get a really good score, but like I said, it has to get a few points subtracted. Next is the Desolation Zone. Okay, that looks cool. Very good, Cooper. Desolation Zone is by Blimp Fruit. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is, this is really, really edgy. <laughs> I like the enemies that are trapped. So far, it's pretty good. It looks good. Um, level design is... not terrible. Okay, do I go down here with the vines? I, I hate vine segments. I always feel like I'm gonna fall off. Yes, I know. I know the irony of that statement. Good to see you again, Mario. You know why? Because I, Boom Boom, will finally destroy you. Oh shit, it's Triple Boom. They're gonna do a bang bang. Okay, there's no music here, which is odd. But there's also... a weird... 
difficulty thing going on where I can't reach the boom booms. Okay. That was it? Just one hit? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. There's, there's three of them, so... Nice one, but nothing I wouldn't have expected of you. Uh, that hurt, but I'm not finished yet. Oh, it took one, but there were three boom boom. What? <laughs> what? The preceding level was good. The custom graphics were good. And it played well, so I liked it. The Manic Mansion by Mike Michael Mike. Welcome to Manic Mansion, the remnants of a once mighty structure built above a network of caves and lava veins. Probably wasn't the greatest location of a mansion built. No, it was not. Alright, toss this this way. A vine will grow. Climb the vine, and then go down this way. Pretty good. This music is pretty good. What the hell is this music? I like it. Funky. Not really fun. Yeah, a little funk. You're welcome. <laughs> well done. Well made. Um, this is The Song Remains the Same by TNT Time Lord. So I'm wondering if Led Zeppelin has anything to do with this. Okay, so far, no. So far, there is no indication that Led Zeppelin is in this. Um, but it's we've got a Mario 2 based map, which is interesting. Really, really nice looking level. Um, slightly overwhelming. But, that's okay. Because it's, it, I think it, it's still pretty good. This is as close to a Mario 2 sequel as we'll ever get. <laughs> it's nice to see, actually. It, it really is. It's nice to see Mario 2 get some love. Let it go, let it go. After a year and a half of solid overpraise, too many covers, the song remains the same. Also, Jimmy Page is effing awesome. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Really nice playing level. Mario 2 homage. It was great looking. I think that was a great map. Uh, okay, this one is The Swamp by Zeo X Dragon. Remember, hello, it's Importan for the puzzle room. What? Okay, so the mushrooms. Are those gens? I think those are gens. That's Clown from Tamanachi Life. I don't know what anything is. Do you see the gens? Yeah, I see them, but I don't know if I can jump on them or if they'll kill me instantly. Question answered. If this is too hard for you, then you are dead chicken. Also, hello. Thank you for the hello. It's nice to see you too. Yeah, this is a little bit... This is a little insane, I would say. This, this uh, part right here is a little crazy. Just throw everything at me. Okay, there's a Ralph. Just a flying giant Ralph. Do you guys see this? Do you, are we... Do you guys see this? There's certainly two types of maps. There's the type of map that we saw last time. And then there's this kind of map. Goku? Is that is that Goku? You see when Goku throws his Super Saiyans at me? You defeated Vampire Overlord and saved the Road Roller Da. The princess is waiting or something. I don't know anymore. Is that Two-Faced? Yes, it is. And look, there's all the streamers, pixelized. Thanks, Vinny. Now I can have sex with the dong. Now fuck off, loser. God damn it. Well, at least we beat Goku in Shrek's vagina. Strange. Very strange. Next is... The Terrible Tale of Big Dick Benny. Oh, this sounds like it's gonna be a winner. By, um... Paradox Master. This year. The year was 21XX. Bowser had long since been vanquished. However, just when the citizens of Mushroom King Drum... Oh, sorry, yeah, King... King Rom, Thought they could sleep safely once more. Up rose a new, far greater threat. The enigmatic super terrorist known only to the public as his alias Big Dick Benny set off a camp in the Mushroom Kingdom, leaving destruction in his wake. We join our young Italian hero now as he infiltrates the fort of the mysterious leader. It, this doesn't work unless you have someone voice narrating this. 
Did you did you see that? Uh, it wasn't even worth it. But goddamn, that was awesome. This was it. By the home stretch, Mario was faced with not one, but two doors. On the other side, he could hear a cackling voice. So I see you've arrived. Pick wisely. Ha 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 ha. So if I... Did I pick wisely? It's true. I, Big Dick Benny, am none other than the narrator who is guiding you through this adventure. <laughs> you can defeat me. I'd like to see you try. Um, wow. Okay, well, that was the terrible tale of Big Dick Benny by Paradox something or other. And, um, it's interesting. Baffling. Kind of good. All right, next is the Wooden Tower. And this one's by Paradox Master. Uh, wait, what? Another level by Paradox Master? Wait, 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 wait. doesn't work. Um, this one was Sputnik. I did this earlier. I didn't think there was a level. Someone just said it was on the start spot. You were tasked with overthrowing the government of Kosovo for the Serbian motherland. You must gain the power of the useless orb to achieve this goal. Now go start your quest. There's not much time left. Is this the thing from Action 52? What the fuck is this? Defeat all of the Albanian infantry to gain complete control over Kosovo. Tomislav demands it. <laughs> Can someone explain what the fuck it is I'm doing? Oh, okay. Surprisingly, it did nothing. Go into the pipe you see appear out of nowhere. Oh, okay. It's Thank you it for the thing that says pipe. We, we needed that. Hey, that's a corrupt Nintendog. What? Uh-huh. That, that background is my reaction to this level. Hello, Fudgeteer. You have entered the Shuffle Dimension right next to the Shake Dimension. Here you most survive onslaught of Shuffle Moles. Good luck, bitch. Okay. Is this Mambo number five? Okay, I'm just gonna take a drink of water real quick. While the, uh, VOD gets muted. Good job. Okay. But lots of Mr. Saturns. Water. You do not have the exit DLC. We are relocating you to microtransaction menu. Hit the note block to purchase the DLC. The funds will automatically be taken from your life savings. Thank you. The DLC has been purchased. That wasn't much better than me just wandering around the map looking for something to do. Um, I just, I don't know how to score a level like that. I don't know how to do it. Next is Title Trial from Rolam Luea. Welcome to the title trial. The exit is right above you, but you'll never reach it unless you can find a way to fill the level with water. Good luck. The store will open with five yellow coins. <laughs> okay. It's a little... Um... It's a little tedious, but I guess that's kind of the point of the puzzle level. It's a unique take on the Super Mario Brothers X level. And now we have access to full underwater. The title challenge is complete. I did it! Yay, we did it! Minus 30 points for pineapple on pizza. Otherwise, that was a really cool level. And a unique level at that, which is something I didn't 
really expect this late in the game. I didn't think I was going to see something that new or that interesting. Next is TLOF. I don't know what that means, but we're on TLOF. The Legend of Fanoth, that's what it is. Okay, so The Legend of Fanoth, this one is by Boop Bop Boop Boop Kachuk. Boop 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 Boop. So, there's a blue pipe. If you know anything about Fanoth, then you know that this could get weird real fast. One of the levels I made a while back was, uh, oh, look at that. An upside down version of World 1. There's Toad. <laughs> there was an upside down version of this where you had to, um, kind of platform through the level backwards. That was a fun level, actually. I, I might, like, stream that at some point during the contest just for fun. Oh, swing your arms! You notice it was like a natural reaction for me to have to sing that? As soon as I heard it, I had no choice. Thank you, Mario, but the princess is in Fanoth. Mock the Mario! Oh, fuck, it's the Great Barrier. Well, what do you know? We just cheesed it out. Again, I, I'm wondering if cheats were intended. Oh shit, it's the princess. Oh shit. <laughs> Fanoth and Sen in one game. In one map. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, that's that's pretty horrifying. Sorry, Mario, but your princess is in another reality. <laughs> it was actually pretty good. Corrupted Cloudscape Galaxy. I don't know who made this right now, but I'll get that information for you when I can. Um, really, really good so far. The custom graphics are just basically recolorizations, I feel, at the moment, but it looks nice. It's like the night scenes in Mad Max. Don't know what the hell that enemy was. Oh, it's the condoms. It's the flying condoms from our Mario 2! I meant Mario World 2, by the way, but I'm sure you guys knew that. Interesting. Okay, so it changed from, like, poison to water. Is it just me, or is this level really good? Like, I'm- I'm really enjoying this. This is one of the better... ...non-meme levels. And I don't mean non-meme levels in a derogatory way. I really don't, because some of those levels made me laugh really hard. And that- that's a good thing, too. But, if you're talking about just a strict fun Mario Brothers level with some really interesting game mechanics. This one is one of the best ones so far. I like the uh, custom graphics too. I like the, the purple and light blue theme of like good and bad. There's like a interesting duality thing that's going on there. I don't know what that enemy is supposed to be. It's a weird faceless thing. Alright. That was the ending. That was really good. That was an excellent level. That was one of my favorites. Um, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. Okay, so the person that made that was Shin, Bi Shin Bison. Or Shinny B Shin Bis... Whatever. Sh Shin Bison. Let's just say that. That's the name. This is the sponge level. Vineland Island Apartments. Tamanashi life. You are sponge. A sponge, you are able to absorb other people's negative emotions. Please help your sad friends and neighbors. Seeing a blue indicator above a door means that is a depressed person whom you need to visit. <laughs> I 
when you see a little red door next to someone that indicates an entryway into their mind. Only you are able to see this door. You have the power to enter their minds and absorb their sadness. Feeling kind of down. I'm not interested at all in Vinny, but he keeps following me around asking me for dates. I wish that would, for a moment I could forget about him and be happy again. Hey. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, this is kind of amazing. Did I do it? Are you happy yet? I'm starting to feel better. You know, Walrus never takes his shirt off in front of the other islanders, but he is ripped as fuck. He is so sexy. Walrus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, this is... Intricate. There's a lot going on here. This is my room. David is my only friend in this world. Without him, I don't know how I would have lasted this long. Too bad I don't have the power to remove my own sadness. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Hey, it's Clown. Sponge, as you know, I'm a ghost. And you are the only one who can see me. I don't belong on Earth anymore. Please help me to ascend by removing my sadness. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fucking sweet Jesus. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Sponge. The bad thoughts are gone and I have ascended. Goodbye, old friend. Oh, shit. Is that a duck? Ducks. Oh my god, what have the Jans done from the look of it? Vinny and David Bowie were having a jam session when the Jans and a flock of geese dismembered their bodies. Fucking geese. God damn it. I can't believe David is dead. The Jans took the only thing I cared about. I can't take it anymore. There's only one thing I can do to make myself happy again. <laughs> um... What the fuck did I just play? Someone just said, well, that was depressing. You could say that. Yeah, you could- you could say that. Then again, it was a sponge level, what'd you expect? Um, now there's also a level called Lost Seafloor City. Nope, so far. I don't know who made this. Finding all six Yoshi coins might do something nice. Mario, the princess wandered in the dangerous cave! I just hope Bowser didn't jump on the opportunity to kidnap her! What, princess is always like... Like, she's either getting kidnapped in caves, in dangerous settings, or she'll- she'll just be in a field. Like Super Mario RPG, Bowser does not discriminate. Wherever he can find her. Why isn't he dead by now? Seriously, someone needs to kill him. Like Mario, you've tried many times. You throw him in lava, you jumped on his head, you, you know, all these things that you would think would work, and Bowser still comes back. Creepy bastard. Secret. I want to get more Yoshi coins. I want to see what the special thing is. Oh, fuck. Go quick, Mario. Mario! Oh! Oh, Mantis. Yeah. Mantis toboggan! Professor, a uh, professor, Compressor Furnace ahead. No loitering. Professor Furnace here, everyone. Hello, Professor Furnace here. Yeah, there was one more. Is there a no clip? Shadow Star lets you walk through walls. Oh, cool. Total cheese. Mario, the, the blue barrier. Do you think uh, could it be? Fanoff? Again? Fanoff. I don't know about any Fanoff, I'm just glad the princess is here! Oh, Mario! What? Who said I needed to be saved? This is the true ending. Hope you've enjoyed playing my level as much as I enjoyed making it! I don't know who made it, sorry. 
That was in a bad level. I thought it all kind of came together nicely. And uh, it's a few interesting challenges in there. And Fanoth at the end. So, yeah, not not a bad score for that one. I liked it. My next Super Mario Bros. Xtreme, not only do you get seven more levels, you get, you get one bonus level. That's Onul's level. So you'll get another eight levels, and Onul's levels are usually really good, so it should be a really good stream. From 8-Bit Beetle, <laughs> Vine Sauce Community Ball Pit, and entry fee, five shekels. Yeah, it's great to be an adult playing my squid games, shooting my water pistols. <laughs> From Joel, it's Goku. His name is Jarvis the Vampire Master. It's from a Chinese cartoon called Ren and Stimpy. Oh, good, good. Just checking. I don't know. I thought he looked like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Goku combined. If you know, I thought it was Goku at first, but then I was like, hey, wait a minute. This guy's Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I realized he might not be Yu-Gi-Oh! And then the chat exploded. And um, then I just settled back for Goku. So he's pretty cool, that Goku guy. Like yellow hair Goku. From Toast Logic... It was the narrator. From Q-Burn, that happened earlier. If you missed it, it, it happened. Take my word for it. And thanks for all the level submissions for Super Mario Brothers X. Thank you everyone that made a level and participated in the contest.